Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this Christmas ribbon ring. It's made with twin beads or super do beads, whatever you call them. These are these beautiful two hole beads that I'm going to be showing you in the tutorial and with seed beads. It's easy to make, it's like a beginner's level tutorial so I'm sure if you follow the steps in this video you're gonna be able to make it by yourself and if you have any questions you could always ask me in the comments. So if you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't and in this way you will be notified when I make new jewelry usually two times a week and you will be inspired often. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. You could check down their description for full list of materials, link to all my social networks, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and of course a link to my Fast Clips channels, Bijuteo Fast Clips. So you could check all of those resources and now guys I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of these beautiful two hole beads called super duo beads or twin beads depending on the manufacturer you see how they look okay they're really beautiful and here i'm also using these 11 seed beads and that's all no clasps no ear wires because I'm making a ring here and uh, this is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters you could use other beading thread of your choice but for rings I prefer to use monofilament because it works better and here I use size 10 beading needle and scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back Okay guys, and what I'm going to do now is take one of these golden beads, okay, and I'm going here through it. And I'm leaving a small tail here at the end. Then what I want to do is take three of the red super do beads, okay, here they are, and I'm going through these golden here just like this okay i want them attached here to my work now i'm going to stick my needle in my mat and i want to make a knot here and i'm making it by making here a loop and going twice through my tail thread through this loop okay and then I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, and now guys, I have this. Now, what I do in my next step is go back here through these golden and through the red ones one more time. It's easier to go one by one. okay and i went through those red ones then as i'm exiting from this bottom hole i will go through the other hole of the same super do bead through the empty hole and in the opposite direction so i'm going like this and back and i'm changing directions okay this is my goal and now i'm taking one bead go here in the next empty hole of my next twin bead k and pull then take one more and go in the next hole okay guys now this is what i have now i want to make some thread repositioning i'll show you how so i'm going one by one through those beads in this direction and I'm going here through the hole of my last bit okay I'm not going through this hole as well only through this one here okay now this is what I have then I go back through this one here 
and I take just one super glue bead. And when I put it like that and pull, you see this is what I have. I have uh, one side of my ribbon ready. Okay, so now I will go back through some beads. And I want to reach again this golden part at the center. Okay, now I have this and what I want to do next is go again through these three beads here at the edge. Next to the golden. Okay, now I go through this golden one, just like this. Now guys, I have this. If you he, uh, feel that something is loose here, you could go back and reinforce it, of course. And now as I'm exiting here, what I want to do is pretty much the same. I'm going to take three red beads. Okay, I'm taking those three and I'm going back through this golden bead. Okay. Pulling, touching them here to this golden. Then I will go back one more time here. Through the golden and as well through those three red beads. Okay. I pull and make sure they are close to this golden one. Okay, then I go back here through this super do. Take just one red. Go back here. Then one more. Go back here. Okay, then another thread repositioning. And I'm going in this direction again. Okay, now here I'm adding my last bit. Okay, and you could come back and reinforce this joint here, just to make sure it stays nice and tight. And then guys, what I do is go back in this direction, then through this super do bit one more time. And then through the inner hole of the same Super do that is closer to the center of my ribbon. Okay, and now guys, what I want to take is one golden bead. I slide it down to my work. As I'm exiting through one of the east holes, I'm going through the other hole, just like this, through the empty hole. Okay, you see now what I have going through one of the holes and then through the other one and then pull close to the center of your work then go again in circle through the same hole that you're exiting out of and pull and if you wonder what i'm doing i'm attaching here my ring band okay then i'm going back again through one of the holes of my super do I attached it in this direction to the inner hole of this super dual. Okay. 
this is what I did okay and in my next step I'm taking one red bead then I take another golden super do and I slide those down like this now I have this and in my next step guys I'm going back through the empty hole of the second super do that I added okay just like this and pull to this red one okay so going out of this hole and back through this one here my thread is exiting now from this hole okay now I take one seed bead and I go back through this first golden super do that I added then I go back through all of those beads in this direction okay now I'm exiting here of this super do and I'm going to make the same thing that I showed you a seed bead a golden super do slide those two down okay turn them in this direction then go through the empty hole of the second super do that you it's the third of the row but I mean the next super do that you're adding and I take one red bead and I go back here like this and then I go back in this direction now I have this and I take a red and a golden slide those down go back a red one go back and in this direction okay guys and now I have this and I'm going to continue adding more and more beads the same way until I have a ring band that's long enough to wrap it around my finger and then I'll be back guys and as I continue beading this is what I have now I have a ring band that's long enough for my finger and what I want to do is attach it here to my work okay I'm finishing with a golden super do here and I'm exiting through one of its holes and now I want to attach it at the same place at my other ribbon so that is why I'm going here through this red one okay just like this then I go back here through my ring band Okay. and I could go reinforce this joint several more times just to be sure that it's all tight and secure and when I'm ready reinforcing I will go through some beads here uh, make a knot and cut my thread okay guys and I'm making my knot by making here a loop with my tail thread with my thread and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull then I could repeat this knot several more times but when I'm ready I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread and remember never to cut next to a knot okay and now guys my Christmas ring is ready okay guys and now my beaded ribbon ring is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make new jewelry usually two times a week and you will be inspired often and you will see all the tutorials from my Christmas wave and uh, you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is you could check description for full list of materials link to my store link 
link for PayPal donations and link for all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. And you could also check my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips and if you like it subscribe there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from